let us see how words are aligned in a primary memory i am assuming that the word address a uh, word size is 4 bytes okay this is the ram and if this is word 0 the next word would be at starting at byte address 4 assuming that this is a byte addressable memory and then the next word would be at byte address 8 so this is one word over here i have to store a character c suppose i'm storing it at byte address 8 and now I have to store an integer after this. So integer in this machine requires 4 bytes. It is a 32-bit machine. I am assuming that the integer would require 4 bytes of storage and a character requires 1 byte of storage. So the character has been stored at byte address 8. Now I have to store an integer which needs 4 byte of storage. So I can use these 4 bytes starting from here three bytes over here and one byte over here i can use this the other possibility would be that if i have to store i will always start a new word at a boundary so if i have if i had stored c over here and now if I need to store an integer and I require 4 bytes, I will only start at this boundary over here. And this boundary would be the multiple of the word length. Here the word length was 4 bytes. So this is the next word boundary. This is the next word boundary. And this is the next word boundary. Had this word length been 2 bytes, suppose I was talking about a 16-bit machine, where the word length was 2 bytes, the word boundaries would have started at every 2 bytes. This would have been the next word boundary, then this one, then this one and so on. So now if I have stored a character C and immediately after that I have to store an integer, I would be using these 4 bytes. This is called an aligned word and this is con called a non-aligned word word the advantage of having a non-aligned word is that no bytes are wasted there is no wastage of any bytes i can immediately start using these bytes however accessing the memory words by word addresses be becomes difficult it is not very efficient here in this case in the aligned representation these bytes would be wasted but accessing the memory and using those word addresses for efficient access would be a better way and would require less complexity.